we can produce super easy watch. Take the ring and the chain. Magic! What's good? Welcome back to How, How to Magic. magic. Oh, 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 magic! I am your host, Evan Era. Today, Ava and I are showing you seven easy magic tricks that anyone can do. You can do it! So if you're ready, hit that thumbs up button for us and let's go! Okay, this one is a fun and easy trick you can do with rope or string. Let's check it out. Okay, so we're gonna take this piece of rope here and here's what we're gonna do with it. We are going to cut it right there. We got two ends of the rope. So we're gonna take our two ends of rope and we are going to tie them together like this. In a nice knot. Just like so. So what we've got now is two separate pieces of rope, one over here and one over here. And what's gonna happen is really cool. We're gonna take this knot, watch. <laughs> the rope is completely and fully restored to one solid piece of rope. All right, here's how it's done. I'm about to reveal the secret. <laughs> the secret to this trick is extremely simple and we'll teach you how it's done right now. So really simple setup for this. All you need is a piece of rope or string, some scissors, and these special moves. So when you're showing off the rope in this position, you've got it looped on one end here like that, and your other two ends here. When you go to cut the loop and you place it in your hand like this, there's a switch that takes place. From a back view, here's what happens. I place the loop up here and I'm simultaneously pulling out this string. And it's making it look as though this part that I'm about to cut is the middle of the rope. But it's actually not. It's actually the end of the rope and we're just snipping off a little piece. So we're gonna cut that right there. Then your next step is to carefully bring down your long pieces. You don't want to bring down the short one right here because that'll reveal the trick. You want to bring down those long pieces like so. So now you have what appears to be two separate pieces of rope. Two ends here, two ends here. What it actually is is a long rope folded over here, and a smaller rope folded over there. Now all that's left to do once you're in this position is to act like you're tying it in a knot. And you're gonna do that by just tying this little one around the long piece. So you're just gonna tie that up like that. You don't wanna make it too tight. Now it looks like we have the two separate pieces of rope tied together. And here's where the magic happens. You can perform this a lot of different ways. Some people like to put their entire hand over it and slide it off. I like to do it very openly like this and literally slide the knot off of the rope. I think it looks really cool. And it can even be a really nice touch to let an audience member slide it off. I have them hold out their hand, you place the rope in their hand, have them grip the knot and then pull the rope and it's like it healed in their hand. So now that you know the secret, one more quick performance of it just to make sure you got it right. You've got your rope doubled over. You go to take the end up here. You're gonna grab your middle, which is not really the middle. You're gonna cut that. You're gonna pull down your long ends, making sure that you're actually pulling down those long ends and not your little cut piece. Tie the cut piece around the long rope and then Slide the knot off. Boom, your rope is magically restored and that is super easy and amazing. And that is how you do the magic cut and restored rope trick. Okay, this is a really cool magic trick that you can do with your hands. Let's take a look. Okay, if I wanna show you a cool trick with my hands, watch closely, okay? Where is that coming from? <laughs> Hello. Okay, here is the secret behind this amazing magic trick. All right guys, again, another super simple and easy one to perform, but it is a true crowd pleaser. All you need is a tiny little fake hand. The tiny little plastic hand, little arm, and it slips right onto the tip of your finger. So what you do is you bend your finger back like this with the little hand attached. The other hand goes on top, and then you're able to just slide that hand out. What you wanna be careful of is you don't want a whole lot of movement in the rest of your hand. You just want your little hand popping out and no movement from your hands. So it looks like this is not being controlled by your hands. It looks like it just magically pops out of there and it is like. Can I see if it fits me? Yeah, absolutely. Super fun trick, super amazing, and it's easy enough that a kid can perform it. <laughs> and that is how you do the magic tiny hand trick. All right, time for a classic magic trick. This is the magic silk scarf. Let's check it out. All right, Davis, so I'm gonna take a silk scarf here. You can see it's normal on both sides, right? Cool, I'm just going to drape it over my hand like this. Also, you can see my hand is completely empty. Like so, this hand's empty as well. I'm going to reach inside the scarf and look. We can produce another scarf. How did that come 
And look, there's no hole in the handkerchief or anything like that. No hole in it. Now I'm going to show you something extremely cool with this. So I'm going to set the handkerchief on top of my empty hand here. Now watch, we're going to do something really cool. We're going to make the blue one pass through the red one. Look, we just stick it down in like this. Watch. If you rub just right, look. It goes right through. And look, we can come to the hand underneath. It's right inside. Went all the way through the red handkerchief. Isn't that crazy? Okay, here is the secret behind this awesome magic trick. Here's what you'll need. A magic plastic fake thumb tip. You will soon be able to get these in the Evan Era TV shop coming extremely soon. Stay tuned to the channel for the announcement. So your setup beforehand is to take your smaller scarf, stuff it into your fake plastic thumb tip, and you're gonna wear that right there on your thumb. A major key to pulling off this trick is making sure your angles are right. Meaning you wanna make sure your thumb tip is pointed towards your audience because if they see it like this that's pretty obvious and they're gonna realize there's a fake thumb on your hand but pointed towards your audience boom my hands are empty it's really hard to notice so you've got your blue scarf loaded into your thumb tip you show your red scarf empty place it on top of your hand and then you're going to put your thumb tip down into the red scarf like so you're gonna conceal it a little bit with the scarf like that and then you're going to reach down into the scarf and pull out the blue one, very slowly. Everyone will be amazed, they'll have no idea how the handkerchief came out of the other one. And then we're basically just gonna reverse the process here. You're gonna begin stuffing the blue handkerchief back down inside the thumb tip, and then you're going to steal it out with your thumb, like so. So it's in that motion of stuffing it down into the handkerchief that you steal out the thumb tip. Then all that's left to do is pull, reveal that it's gone and then from a backside exposed view here what you're gonna do is come down into your other hand behind the handkerchief and that's how you're gonna steal the thumb tip into here so that you can reveal coming out of your other hand and apparently penetrating the other scarf and that is how you do the magic silk scarf trick okay this is a super fun one it is the magic impossible ring and chain challenge you ready all right, so here's the challenge, Ava. The challenge is to get the ring and the chain to connect with each other. Put the ring on the chain like this. Like that. Can I try? Yep, you absolutely can. All right, Ava's gonna try the challenge. See if you can get the link on there. You gotta drop it. Yeah, it's tricky. It is a tricky trick. All right, you want me to teach you the secret? No. You can also use it to hypnotize people. Subscribe to this channel. Like this video. Send us some fan mail. I put candy in it. Okay, here is the secret move that'll let you win the challenge every single time. I'm gonna hold the ring in this exact position, right in between these two fingers and the thumb on the other side. Now what happens is my thumb lets go first. Now what the ring is doing in midair is actually rotating around and it's catching that chain on it, just like that, wrapping it around it. And that is how you do the Magic Impossible Ring and Chain Challenge. All right, this next one is kind of a spooky, scary magic trick. It's the Haunted Handkerchief. Let's check it out. All right, so we're gonna take our handkerchief like this, lay it down on the table. Just gonna fold up the handkerchief like so, and watch. Down, boy. Down. Okay, here's how it's done. The secret is extremely simple. There is a tiny wire that runs right down the length. It's hemmed into this handkerchief. There's a little piece of short wire on this side that's bent and a longer piece of wire here in an L shape. And it's hemmed into the handkerchief so that when, so the wire acts like a lever. And when you put pressure on this side, that side raises up. So once we've folded the handkerchief into the middle, when we put pressure on it, it raises up. We can act like we push it back down, like there's a haunted ghost inside of it. Stay, no, stay down. No, stay. One of the great things about this trick is being able to instantly open up the handkerchief and show that there's nothing inside. It totally blows people's minds. And that is how you do the haunted handkerchief trick. 
Okay, this one is the magic uneven ropes trick. Here we go. So we have three ropes that are three different lengths. We have one short one, one middle one, and one long one. But what if we want to make all the ropes the same length? We can use a little bit of magic and even them out. Watch. And boom, just like that, one, two, three ropes, all the exact same length. Okay, here's the secret. This is actually really, really simple and really easy to do. You need a short piece of rope or string that you loop through another rope or string to hang like so, and then you're going to cut another piece of rope to the exact length of this setup so that when you hold your hand in front of it like this, they look like three even pieces of rope. So this is how we have our uneven pieces. We just have the rope pulled so that one end is hanging longer than the other. And then to even them up, we're just grabbing the short end and evening it up. And you wanna make sure your middle rope is in line so that it'll hang evenly. It takes a little bit of practice, but it's an amazing trick. And when you combine it with the cut and restored rope, it makes a really cool routine. Okay, this one is the magic number two pencil trick. Here's a performance of what it looks like. Okay, Ava, so I'm gonna have you pick a card from the deck, but we're gonna have you pick it in kind of a unique way, okay? Okay, so think of any number between 10 and 20. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, any of those numbers, think of any of them. Which one do you want? 16. 16? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add both of the digits of your number together, the one and the six, and we get seven, right? So then we're gonna subtract that seven from your original number and we get nine. So we're gonna count down nine cards in the deck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that is your card. So we'll set the rest of the deck aside and the two of spades will be your card. I also have a number two pencil here and I'm just gonna tap that on your card. Watch the number two on the pencil, okay? The number two right there, rub it and make sure it's not gonna come off or anything. It's actually printed on there, right? Watch what happens when I rub it just like this. I can just slide. Right down the pencil. Just move it right down there and touch it. Isn't that cool? And you can even take the number two and slide it back up the pencil like that. <laughs> and then the coolest thing, which is where the card comes into play, you can take this right here, the number two, and you can stretch it. And it says the number two of spades. Can you get it to stretch? The explanation for this is pretty simple. It's an easy 10-20 card force. That's how you make them pick the two of spades. What a 10-20 force is, is you have somebody think of a number between 10 and 20, add both the digits together, and then subtract it from their original number. No matter what happens, every time they'll get the number nine. This is a very old math trick, and it works every time. 60% of the time, it works every time. That doesn't make sense. So all you do is place the two of spades nine cards down in the deck. So you do the 10, 20 force, have them think of their number, do the math, and you end up with nine. So you count nine cards down in the deck. You know it's gonna be the two of spades. You force the card on them. And then the second part of this trick is you have two magic gimmicked pencils. Again, stay tuned to the end for a special giveaway. They're specially printed number two pencils. They have a number two up here on this side, and on the other side, it has a number two down here. On the other pencil, it has a number two on this side, and on the other side, it says number two of spades. So as you're probably Probably figuring out by now it's really simple and you're just rotating the pencil as you come up and grab your that big motion of my hand coming up is covering the twist of the pencil and it's also working to shield it from the audience's view and that is how you do the magic number two pencil trick all right guys it is giveaway time I'm giving away every single prop in this video the little hand the magic pencil the haunted hanky everything I'm giving away everything and I'm giving away five thumb tips if you want to win any of this stuff leave a crazy fun any random comment in the comment section on this video. Leave as many comments as you want. I will be randomly picking comments from the comment section on this video. So leave as many comments as you want in the comment section below. All right, guys, that is it. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button for me. Share it on your Facebook or Twitter. Text or email it to a friend. You know what to do. If you're new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications for this channel so you can be the first to watch new videos as soon as we upload them. All right, guys, the Laugh at Life Evanera TV shop is coming extremely soon. 
stay tuned to the channel for the announcement. I'm doing that's the giveaway winners from the last How To Magic video. The winners are these names right here. Check your YouTube messages. Congratulations to our winners. Thank you to everyone who entered the giveaway drawing and good luck to everyone entering this giveaway drawing. Leave your comments below. You can click up here in the corner to watch more How To Magic content. And until next time, remember that anything is possible.